Director of Planning, Design, and Construction for the University of Iowa. The university assembles a core team of folks that will be the center point for all of the coordination and efforts going on, plus coordination with the surrounding communities, Johnson County emergency, and uh, the weather forecasters, as well as uh, those at the Corps of Engineers at the Coralville Reservoir. when we began to get word from the core of the risks of seeing the reservoir reach its top. And the weather being bad at that point, we uh, knew we needed to get together. Seven days a week, once that plan falls into place, we are teleconferenced into a meeting with Johnson County. Uh, that includes all of the surrounding communities and all of the agencies that are involved with the flood protection or flood risk issue. The wall that is behind me represents part of seven miles of HESCO barriers that have been established and, and installed on our campus. It's a remarkable uh, process that we discovered in 2008. And they're very effective in flood barriers. And after the 2008 flood, uh, we began to study the option for having that be our primary protection method. And so it allows us to put four foot, eight foot, 12 foot high walls up where we need them. At the Mayflower, it's a full height, three tall uh, system of, of 12 feet of HESCO barriers. Currently engaged by the Iowa River and currently doing the job as planned. Art Building West became the first building to work its way through the entire FEMA process. The invisible wall, as we call it, is installed. It's a 900 foot uh, system of underground uh, foundations that allow us, when threatened by major flooding, to install a system of steel I beams and aluminum panels. The Flood Center was born out of the disasters of 2008 and don't just serve the University of Iowa, don't just serve the communities here, but the entire state of Iowa. They've been an invaluable resource to us, both the disaster recovery in 2008, but also our preparations here in 2013. The primary statement we continue with is living with uh, floods, but also living with the river. We don't intend to fortify, fortify ourselves against the river and turn our back on it. The river is something that is a great amenity to our community and to our campus. It makes a difference, uh, it makes it a special place, but we also know what it can do to our campus in, in flood years. <laughs> 